factorize the following. Okay, so this is for three marks. So what I can see is that this part here is almost the same as this. But the problem is, is that this R is positive and the S is negative. Can you see that? So here we have a R that is positive and an S that is negative. Here we have a R that is negative and an S that is positive. So can you see it's exactly the opposite way around? When that happens, I want you to smile because that's actually easy to fix. All that we do is the following. So we leave that one. Now, we're just gonna change the signs of these ones, okay? So we're gonna take out a negative as a common factor. So we're gonna take out a negative one as a common factor. And then I'm gonna say R minus S. But now let me explain and prove that this and this is actually the same thing. Because we don't wanna change it mathematically. It has to be the same thing, right? So let me prove to you that this is still this. Because if we had to plug this minus one back into the bracket, what would that give you? Minus R. And what would you get over here? Well, you would get minus multiplied with a minus and that would be a plus. And so you would still have plus S. So these two things are actually exactly the same on a mathematical level. However, what we've now done is we've made them look to be the same. The reason that that's really good is that we can now factorize and we can take that R minus S bracket out. And then what are we left with? T squared in the first part and minus one in the second part. Now that, remember we always want to with factorizing, we always want to start with a common factor, which is what we've actually just done. We took out a common bracket as a common factor. Then we can go further after that and we could look at things like difference of squares. We could look at things like trinomial or grouping. Now this is a difference of squares. Why? Because how many terms do we have here? There's one, two, there's a minus, and then each of these two things is a perfect square. For example, t multiplied by t gives us that, and one multiplied by one gives us that. So t multiplied by t and one multiplied by one. So what we can now do is leave the first bracket as it is. Now with difference of squares, it always goes into two brackets. And then we said it's a t and a one and a t and a one. And then one of them gets a plus, one of them gets a minus. That's how we've done difference of squares before. And that's the final answer.